Hi there, it's Laurel and I'm here at Arts Nursery and Garden and Home and I am in the tropical, sort of tropical giftware area and we're going to talk about seeds. There are a ton of seeds that you can start in in late summer um, that you that will germinate and grow into the fall. So if you've had some crop failures like I have, can't grow carrots to save my life. I, I just don't know. There's plenty of time for a do-over and there's a ton of seeds that absolutely love getting started right now. Um, I'm here by the garden accessories. There's also a ton of stuff uh, that you can use to start your seeds either indoors and outdoors. A lot of things that you can use to sort of help you get going like everything from garden twine to, to watering bulbs. Um, we've got a really good selection of grow lights as well. This really helped me get going with my spring garden. Um, it also helped during the low light time uh, that we have in our winter. Um, I actually used this on some of my house plants and I ended up with actually happier, much happier looking house plants because I don't always have a ton of space right in the, the front window. So this will help you um, really improve the health of your plants. So I'm right here by the seed section. There are a ton of seeds that we can start now. Swiss chard, um, pak choy, uh, there's sweet peas down here that we can grow. Sweet peas, you can actually start in the fall where they are to grow the next spring. That actually gets them off to a slightly earlier start. Um, we've got a ton of other guys over here too. wine and stuff like that. Beets, I've done my second planting of beets and we have a whole bunch of different types. Um, I am actually trying some of the white beets for the first time um, as well as the sort of the bull's blood. I really like that the deep dark purple. Um, beans, peas, kale, lettuce. You can sow lettuce every couple of weeks to keep it going. Um, what happens when you sow it now, the, the seedlings germinate a lot faster because they love that warm soil temperature. And then the nights are a little bit cooler. So these are uh, crops that appreciate slightly cooler weather um, and don't bolt as fast. For those of you that don't wanna start with seeds, we actually have some 606 vegetables coming into our the back of our annual house if you wanna um, and I'll show you where. We'll sneak out this door here. We still have some tomatoes and some rosemary. We've got some kale started here. We've got some cabbages and beans. So you can start from the small seedlings. We have that empty shelf is waiting for our delivery of 606 vegetables for your fall planting. So you can start from seed or you can start from plants, but don't forget about the fall sowing. It's, it's kind of a shame to have an empty space in your garden. So if you've had stuff that you've already pulled out, um, prepare the garden bed, because we've got some good stuff for, for you to put in your garden. So it'll, it'll be an adventure, let's say. Um, anyway, thank you so much for coming and visiting us. Um, have a great day. See you next.